Hello there and thank you for watching and reviewing. My name is Tanner Phillips and this is my final presentation on the New Testament survey part of my pathway studies. And so today what we're going to be talking about and teaching on a little bit um, is the importance of one of these right here. Uh, I think I can be guilty of it sometimes of showing up to church and just bringing my phone because I have the app with me. Um, but sometimes we don't really spend time studying God's Word as we should. Um, sometimes we may just skim over it just to have a good point to make. And so today what I want to do briefly here is to just uh, give you seven things that I've recently learned and studied for myself. Seven ways that we can read the Bible better, that we can understand it better, that it can really be a better impact in all of our lives. Um, and so number one, let's get started here. Uh, one thing great that we can all do is to write out the scripture by hand. Now, this can be lengthy. Sometimes this can take a long time. Um, and that's the whole idea behind it, is that when we are studying God's word, that we will just breeze right through it. But if we'll just take a moment and actually write out a scripture, uh, maybe we're going through and something really just stands out to us and we really like it. What we try to do is say, oh, hey, that's a good thought. But if we'll really take a moment, pen to paper, and let's write out this scripture, uh, maybe we need to write it a few times over and over. Like when we were kids in elementary school, you have to practice writing your letters out. And so for scripture, if we have something that really speaks to us or something we need to remember to hold on to, uh, let's, let's write it out. And it'll help us to be able to remember that uh, when we go back to those things or we have times in our lives where we want to uh, maybe to lean back on something. We can look at that and say, hey, I remember writing out this lengthy scripture. It seemed like it took forever but not really mean something in my life. So number one, writing out the scripture. Uh, number two, one of the best things that we can do as well when we are reading God's word is to ask questions. A lot of times I feel and believe that we just read through the Bible. Um, we either just accept everything or whatever it might be, or maybe we have questions that come up, but we just push them to the side. But if you have a question, um, take a moment, stop, uh, call somebody, ask your pastor, ask God and study it out. And if we will stop during these times of maybe not fully understanding what God's word is saying and then study it out, it's such a better revelation for us to have that understanding. Um, the Bible has so many translations now that we should all be able to understand what it is that's trying to be uh, portrayed and shown to us in God's word. We don't have to have some kind of degree to be able to understand it all. It's for all people to understand. And so if you have questions, Ask those questions about that. Uh, number three, another way that we can uh, learn God's word better, and this is something that I really enjoy doing, um, is that I really like the storytelling side of it. And so to put yourself in the story, uh, you know, when you read it, think about maybe how you would have been in this situation um, if you were back in the Bible, if you were in this story here and how it might have affected you. Not just reading through a story just to read through it, but say, hey, man, this is this is me. Maybe this is imagining yourself with some of your own friends and you're in this situation with Jesus or something that's going on. And that when we really begin to personalize the story, it really helps us understand that the Bible is personal to us, to each and every single one of us. Um, every time that we read it, we should be able to do this in every story that we go through. Put yourself in it. Make it mean something to you. Uh, number four is that when we read God's word, we should understand that we are reading God's word and that this should be a, a sacred time of reading that we maybe need to turn off some outside influences at, at, during these times. Um, and really just to be with God in these moments, maybe before we go into God's word that we pray or while we're in it, that we stop to pray, to, to pray about a scripture maybe that we're reading and what it means in our lives. Um, to remember that God's word is holy, that it is sacred, and that, it, you know, yes, it is a book, but it's not just another book, that this is God's word, and that we would take time, and like I say, just to just to make it sacred, um, to do something uh, different than we would in maybe a different scenario or environment, to kind of make it special as we're reading God's word, um, because it is an inspired book that is meant for all men, all women, and uh, so we can hopefully understand it better. Um, number five is a fifth way that we can, you know, to, to learn these things better is read it with other people. Um, you know, yes, personal time of studying is great and we should do that. But that when we read with other people, we can ask questions together. We can do these things as a group. Um, and not that we just take other people's opinions, but that we get together and talk about what it might mean, ask the questions, but then really dig in together and figure out what God's word is. Um, that's discipleship. That is how we disciple other people is getting together, reading God's word in your house or church or drinking coffee or wherever it is that you're going to do it at. Um, but do it with other people. Do it with other people that can help hold you up, hold you accountable in your reading. 
Uh, number six, almost done here. Memorize Bible stories. Um, you know, used to, we would, um, if you were a kid, maybe you went to vacation Bible school stuff that you would have to remember stories out of the Bible. You'd have to memorize scriptures. At some point in life, it seems like we quit doing that. Um, and so if we'll go back to that, remember these stories, memorize them, put them in our heart. Um, and then lastly, number seven, and uh, I know some people are very, um, that they like, uh, they're creative. And so maybe you need to paint or draw. A lot of people, they like to sketch. And so if you have a story in the Bible that you want to hold on to, draw it out, make art out of it, make it personal to you. Um, and that when you do this, uh, you can really create a beautiful piece, one that you can remember, but it's also a good talking point to share the gospel with other people. Uh, so hopefully today, these seven points that they will help you when you're reading God's word, um, that we would do these things uh, with intent. And so thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching this presentation.